Hello students, welcome back to maths class. In the given figure, you can notice that there are two sets of parking area and you can also observe that the numbers are written on the each parking space. The numbers are allotted for first set of parking space are 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and the numbers allotted for second set of parking space are 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9. Here you can see in the first set the parking numbers are in serial wise but in the second set the parking numbers are not in serial. Therefore, the numbers which follow one after the other are called consecutive numbers. Here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 are consecutive numbers. Here, you can see few examples are given for consecutive numbers. Just go through it. Remember one thing that consecutive numbers can also be written backwards. For example, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Another example, 1327, 1326, 1325, 1324, 1323. Here, the numbers which follow one before the other. Hello children, look here. Rina, Tina, Mina are sitting and watching movies. Can you tell me their seating position? Yes, Rina is sitting before Tina and Mina is sitting after Tina. Then what is the seating position of Tina? Yes, Tina is in between Rina and Mina. By now you must have guessed what is the next topic. Do you remember what do you mean by before numbers? Yes, when we count backward from a given number, we get the before number. Here I have taken few consecutive numbers. How to get the number which comes just before the given number? If we subtract 1 from a given number, we will get the number which comes just before. Now, let's find what comes just before 2345. When we subtract 1 from 2345, we get 2344. Therefore, the number which comes just before of 2345 is 2344. Just before number is also known as predecessor. A number 1 less than a given number comes just before it is called its predecessor. So, we can say the predecessor of 2345 is 2344. Now, what is the predecessor of 2349? If you subtract 1 from a given number, that is 2349, we get 2348. Therefore, the predecessor of 2349 is 2348. After number, let's take few consecutive numbers. How to find the number which comes just after the given number? If we add 1 to the given number, we will get the number which comes just after. Now, let's find what comes just after 4570. When we add 1 to 4570, we get 4571. The number which comes after 4570 is 4571. Just after number is also known as successor. A number 1 more than a given number comes just after it and it's called its successor. Let's take one more example. What is the successor of 4566? Add 1 to 4566, we get the sum as 4567. Therefore, the successor of 4566 is 4567. between number. Here I took few serial numbers. Look at the given serial number which will help you to find the between number. Now, what comes in between 3654 and 3656? Yes, it is 
3655 is comes in between 3654 and 3656 what comes in between 3657 and 3659 yes it is 3658 is comes in between 3657 and 3659 now scratch your brain what comes in between 5662 and 5664 yes very good it is 5663 is comes in between 5662 and 5664 write the predecessor and successor of the given numbers just go through the solved examples to get the successor add 1 to the given number to get the predecessor subtract 1 from the given number don't forget in the given picture you can see an elephant and an ant whenever you look at them what comes in your mind yes you start comparing their height and weight here an elephant is heavier and taller than an ant like that only you have learned to compare up to 3 digit numbers today we shall learn to compare 4 digit numbers signs used to compare numbers are greater than less than or is equal to the open side of the sign always points towards the greater number the closed side of the sign always points towards the smaller number if both the numbers are equal then we use equal sign now we'll compare 1567 and 286 count the number of digits in the given numbers 1567 has 4 digits and 286 has 3 digits the number with more digit is always greater that is 1567 is greater than 286 Now let us learn to compare numbers with same number of digits. Compare 2567 and 4592. Count the number of digits in the given numbers. Both the numbers have same number of digits that is 4. When the number of digits is same, start comparing from the leftmost digit that is the digit at the thousands place. Here we begin by comparing the digits in the thousands place that is 2 and 4 here 2 is smaller than 4 therefore 4592 has greater digit in the thousands place so 2567 is lesser than 4592 let's take one more example compare 5689 and 5283 we start comparison of digits in the thousands place that is 5 and 5 the digits are same here now we compare the digits in the hundreds place that is 6 and 2 the digits are different here that is 6 is greater than 2 therefore the number 5689 is greater than 5283 let us try with one more example Compare seven thousand one hundred thirty-four and seven thousand one hundred fifty-nine. Here, the digits at thousands and hundreds places are same in both the numbers. Then we need to compare the digits at the tens place, that is three and five. Three is less than five, therefore seven thousand one hundred thirty-four is lesser than seven thousand one hundred fifty-nine. Now. Compare nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine and nine thousand nine hundred ninety six. In this example, the digits at the thousands, hundreds, and tens places are same in both the numbers. Then we need to compare the digits at the ones place. That is nine and six. Nine is greater than six. Therefore, nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine is greater than nine thousand nine hundred ninety six. Let's see another example. Compare the given numbers five thousand four hundred eighty-two and five thousand four hundred eighty-two. We'll start looking at the digits in the thousands place, hundreds place, tens place, and ones place. Here, all the digits of both the numbers are same. Then 
both the numbers are equal that is 5482 is equal to 5482 similarly 4900 is equal to 4900 8102 is equal to 8102 we have learned to compare two numbers in the same way we can compare three or more numbers and find the biggest and smallest number in a group now let's learn to place the numbers in a proper order we can arrange the numbers in a sequence from smaller to bigger or from bigger to smaller in the picture you can see that the boy is climbing from step 1 to step 4 as he climbs the stairs he starts from the bottom that is the first step to the topmost step that is step 4 you can observe that he is moving from smaller number to bigger number this arrangement of numbers from smaller to bigger is called ascending order or increasing order similarly when he gets down the stairs he starts from the top that is the step 4 to the bottom most that is the step 1 he is moving from bigger number to the smaller number this arrangement of numbers from bigger to smaller is called descending order or decreasing order to make it more clear we'll take a simple example that is set of four numbers 7675 4689 8090 and 6128 We need to arrange these numbers in ascending order and descending order. To compare the given numbers very easily, the first step is we'll place these numbers in the place value chart. Then start comparing the thousands place. Here, four is smaller than other numbers, therefore, four thousand six hundred eighty-nine is the smaller number. The next smaller number is six in the thousands place, therefore, six thousand one hundred twenty-eight is the second smallest number. Now compare remaining digits in the thousands place. That is seven and eight. Seven is less than eight. Therefore, seven thousand six hundred seventy-five is the third smallest number. Last number is the greatest number. That is eight thousand nineteen. Ascending order of the given set of numbers is four thousand six hundred eighty-nine, six thousand one hundred twenty-eight, seven thousand six hundred seventy-five. And eight thousand nineteen. Same number of sets can be written in descending order also. That is, from bigger to smaller. It's just a reverse order of the ascending order. That is, eight thousand nineteen, seven thousand six hundred seventy five, six thousand one hundred twenty eight, four thousand six hundred eighty nine. Here. some solved examples based on ascending order and descending order are given follow this examples and try to order the numbers in ascending order and descending order here is a simple worksheet is given for you solve this worksheet in your maths notebook and learn well This was all about today's class. Let's meet in the next class with another new and interesting topic. Thank you. Bye bye.